this picture will probably go viral, it'll go all around the world, so it's an opportunity to be part of something really special. This is a striking image of congestion. They're showing up the road space taken by 70 cars, contrasting that with one bus or the equivalent number of cyclists and walkers. I think this is such a great initiative because what it shows is that Alternative methods of transport are not only great from a sustainability perspective and urban design, but they're actually so much healthier. These are people that are passionate about walking and cycling and um, just want to get involved. Freer was designed before the car, I found it fascinating enough. It actually was a city designed around cyclists and pedestrians and, and trams. And um, I think we're returning to that period in our history where we're coming back to cycling and to walking as the things that make great cities that people want to live in rather than those car dominated places where you've got to drive everywhere. We hope this will promote community discussion, debate and, and hopefully pro produce policy change. We've been investing very heavily into bike lanes and other bike infrastructure just to make it easier to ride than it is to drive around the city. South Perth Primary School, we're an inner city school. We had potentially a lot of problems uh, traffic wise, safety issues. So to encourage students to walk and cycle, we came up with a strategy. We got kids to walk and cycle and um, we have trophies and awards for the students that walk and cycle regularly. I think there is that real, that real sense of, actually it's not something that just kind of crazy people in Lycra do anymore, this is actually a good way of commuting and getting around and um, actually makes a lot of sense. Well the important thing about congestion is that, uh, and getting people walking and cycling, is that it's a win-win proposition. What, what's good for congestion is good for public health, it's good for clean air, it's good for amenable communities and so from a public health point of view, walking and cycling is central and it also gives a uh, congestion benefit if you can get people doing it. Yeah, the thing about a, a walk to school day is that you might get a high percentage of your students do it once and they've really enjoyed it, but it falls off. So if you can get the students to do it on a regular basis, it's habit forming and everybody gets the benefit, the school community, the, the environment. Most importantly, the kids. The kids are fitter, they're happier, they're healthier, concentrate better, they perform better at school. Well, it's been a lot of fun, but it has been a challenge. Uh, you know, we need to get uh, equipment down here and bus and bikes and of course volunteers. I'm very grateful on a cold winter's morning.